when I talk about Carl Anderson, I am really talking about a, a man of faith first, uh, a Christian, one who is proud of being Catholic, showing uh, all its uh, Catholic uh, values in, in practice. Uh, then I would also talk about a leader, a leader of uh, magnanimity, uh, someone who is willing to take the risk uh, to really go beyond what's being expected in, in a sense. And this have led him and the Knights of Columbus to come to Iraq uh, in a very difficult time, to be there with the people, uh, to feel their pain and to listen to them. We sat and discussed uh, many things, but what I'd like uh, most about these meetings was his ability to listen, listening to us, listening to the, uh, to the needs, listening to who we are, how we see things, how we could really make a uh, life of our suffering community much easier. The humanitarian uh, aid and help that he led with the, with the Knights of Columbus was not about food, about housing, about education as such as just giving help. No, it, about, uh, it was about being with the people and try to restore the dignity uh, that was lost uh, in the time of crisis. So it's a big word of thanks, not just from me, but from all the people. You have really helped with the Brother Knights. Uh, you made it so uh, dignified for thousands of families uh, during the time of displacement to move from a tent to a proper house, to really from, uh, move from a camp to a proper school for their children, not to lose hope, not to lose hope that you are not forgotten, he was the, the, the leading voice, uh, very passionate uh, about uh, the Christian persecution, about the right for religious uh, freedom. And when, whenever we meet people like Carl Anderson and other good people who do care and have really passion for for the marginalized, for the victims of war, for and defend their rights, yeah, change the whole impression. There was still God's hand is working. So thank you from the old Christians of Iraq for all your good work. And God bless you.